in everybody there is always a unique seed a unique breed that the lord has already established in them that have got the capacity to cause them to become what's called a center of reference when people look at you they say i wish i was in that but sometimes you may not find even satisfying where you are you may think you are the lowest but someone who observe you from afar is able to see what even you you can see it's dangerous way to live not having the clue of what is being decided or what is taking place in your life because in most of the time we are always blind of the surrounding reality of ourselves favor is something to protect that i'm trying to say you may not know the measure of favor that is in upon your life but if you open and saw it you don't know how they feel about it sometimes you don't only appreciate god for the provision you appreciate just god for yourself to say i am wonderful made i appreciate you for my husband for my children for my job it's an open gate it's another way to say that you are conscious of the very good things the lord has placed in your heart if you cannot be able to see them they cannot be able to develop them even your measure of the investment in yourself it should be very restricted because you don't know what you have that's how most of the time whenever god will call the people like moses who ask him what do you have he did not know that that stick he was cutting could have turned into something powerful elijah asked that woman what do you have in your house me the little oil elijah said the problem you have and the man what you have will start with what you have that are victory and quality prayers over for yourself is determined by what you're able to see within yourself quality decision again is determined and defined by what a person is able to see in themselves how many people have made wrong decision because they were not able to perceive what they carry what god has placed in their hand what god has entrusted in their hand because of that they were making a careless decision careless movement because they were not conscious of the things god has vested in them that's what you can find every time the lord wanted to usher somebody you begin number one by making them understand themselves who they are like you find the people like jeremiah they say i'm too young the lord have to go with him through the lecturing of reminding him that i choose you before you were born you are a unique person you are a unique choice in my hand even for the children of israel to possess goshen joseph has to prepare them to talk about who they are they have to have after call a full knowledge of themselves say when they shall call you shall ask you who are you you shall tell pharaoh your servant to regard here they are separate from childhood this is who we are we are not ashamed of who we are we are proud of what we do we are proud of what god has made us don't you know that the inability of not knowing yourself can blind you not even to discover the enemy of your destiny Who's confessing here? Pharaoh, be old. Observe these people. They are many. Number one. Number two, they are also powerful. But the people who are powerful, they are not even conscious of the surrounding. They don't know how can a little number control you. How can weak people control you or powerful people? They capitalize on their ignorance of their status quo. Don't get even familiar of yourself because familiarity it is the force that silence excellency thank you i have to go up again hand again for god for that one it's a force that silence excellency that silence self-improvement are you getting that one my daughter don't get even familiar with yourself even familiar of yourself because familiarity it is the force that silences excellency and self-improvement i thank god for that drop because i want you to go and do because some of the people they fail even to improve themselves to operate in excellency because they've gotten familiar of themselves don't get even familiar with yourself because familiarity is a force that silences excellency and self 
improvement. Just like that. You want to silence excellency? <laughs> Self-improvement? Get familiar of yourself. Automatically, senseless abnormality will begin to make sense. Whatever surrounding you may be to make because if you want to continue excelling and improving, don't get familiar. I bless you tonight. I speak the peace of God to reign in your life. I cover your family. I cover your business. I stop every satanic agenda. May the peace of God, the love of God, the blessing of God overtake you and your family. You shall not die prematurely. And I'm waiting for the testimony that shall come all by your side. This is our season, our time for testimony. Someone clap again your hand and celebrate God.